Welcome back everybody, Patrick here and moving on with another word problem dealing with rate of change. So suppose that you could learn nt equals 64t minus t cubed words of a new language after t hours of study time. Two parts to this question. How many words have been learned at time t equals two hours? And then what is the rate in words per hour at which the student is learning at a time of two hours? So starting off with part A, how many words have been learned at time t equals 2? Well, really simple, all we have to find is the amount of words that you learn at t equals 2. So you plug in 2 for t in the function. So you'd have 64 times 2 minus 2 cubed. And when you do that, 64 times 2 is 128 minus 8 gives us 120 words. So after two hours of study time, you can learn 120 words. And then moving on to part B, what is the rate of change at a T value of two hours? Because they're asking for the rate of change at a specific point in time, they're asking for the instantaneous rate of change. So to start this off, let's just find what the general instantaneous rate of change would be for a T value of A. Right, so once we have that expression, we can then plug in a t value of two. You can also find this instantaneous rate of change directly at a t value of two, but I'm first gonna find the uh, general instantaneous rate of change and then plug in that t value of two. So to find that, to find that instantaneous rate of change when t is equal to a, that's gonna be what? We're gonna use the difference quotient, so the limit as h approaches zero of n of a plus h minus n of a all over h. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out an expression for n of a plus h. So let's do that on the side. We know n of t is 64t minus t cubed. So we know n of a plus h is gonna be 64 times a plus h minus a plus h cubed. And this a plus h cubed, we can rewrite as three brackets, a plus h times a plus h times a plus h. So we're gonna to have to distribute the 64 in this bracket. We're gonna to have to FOIL all of that out and then we're gonna to have to simplify with like terms. So when you do all that, distribute that 64 and you'll have 64a plus 64h. And then when you FOIL these three brackets out, you'll end up with this expression, a cubed plus three a squared h plus three a h squared plus h cubed. And you are subtracting that whole expression. So don't forget to put brackets. So now, what we do is we distribute that negative inside the bracket. So we have minus a cubed minus three a squared h minus three a h squared minus h cubed. And notice that unfortunately there are no like terms. So this is the final expression for n of a plus h. So we're gonna plug that expression in here. Let's find what n of a is first. So n of a, we just simply plug in a for the t value. So we got 64a minus a cubed. So going back to our general difference quotient, this limit here, we're going to plug in uh, this expression, this whole expression for n of a plus h, and then for n of a, we're gonna be plugging in that expression. So making that substitution, we got n of a plus h minus n of a, it's gonna be all over h. So if we bring that negative inside this bracket, notice that the 64 a's will cancel out and then the a cubes will cancel out as well. So we'll just be left with the limit as h approaches zero of 64 h minus three a squared h um, minus 3ah squared minus h cubed. And this is gonna be all over h. So looking a lot better, I'm gonna erase this portion here. 
give myself a little more room. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to get rid of this h in the denominator so then we can plug in zero for h. So we can do that now. Notice we could factor out an h from all of the terms in the numerator. So we'll have 64 minus 3a squared minus 3ah minus h squared. It's going to be all over h. Now the h is cancel out and now we can finally plug in zero for h. And when we do that, this will go to zero, this will go to zero as well, and we're just left with 64 minus 3a squared. So that there, this expression represents the instantaneous rate of change of this function at a t value of a. Right, so this is the general expression for the instantaneous rate of change at a t value of a. So if we want to find the instantaneous rate of change at 5 hours, we just plug in 5 for a. In this case, we're finding the instantaneous rate of change at a t value of 2. So if we plug in uh, 2 for a in this expression, we would have 64 minus 3 times 2 squared, which would be 64 minus 12, which would give us 52. And because this is rate of change, this 52 is words per hour. And that is the final answer. That's the instantaneous rate of change. That is the uh, speed at which you are learning at the two hour mark. 52 words per hour. Now, you could have also found the instantaneous rate of change directly at a t value of 2. So instead of plugging in a, you would just plug in 2 here. So you'd have 2 plus h, and then here you'd have n of 2. You follow the exact same process, it's just when you get to this last step, you're just going to end up with this number. You're not going to have this general expression here. You're just going to end up with 52. You could even try it on your own if you like. However, I like to always find a general expression for a t value of a first, just in case that they are asking for the instantaneous rate of change at different t values. You don't have to make multiple calculations. You only have to make one calculation then. So my suggestion, do it for a general value of a, and then plug in that specific a that you are working with in your question.